producers, and they don't say a lot, but, but I'm like, should we see Allison as a villain still, or should yeah. we sympathize with her? Where do you think that falls? Well, I completely agree with you, because I don't really know yet. They don't tell us a lot either. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I know more than you. No, I think uh, the fans are really just going to have to pay attention to playing the Nazi things, so, um, because there's two sides to everything, especially Allison's like, show map. Yeah. Um, and I think trying to figure out what her genuine impulses are are a little strange. I think the girls are just really happy with the decision that she makes. And I'm crazy. But she only knows a few ways to survive, and she's using those techniques. And that's what's kept her alive. But it's not always the best choice. So. I think she's struggling at the moment now. We've eight episodes. Struggling with should I trust my friends or should they trust me? It was a big, um, a big, a big question that's actually surrounding it all. She brings in such a tornado and she up so much in this town like that. It's kind of devastating in many ways. It's kind of like an actual disaster, but not as damaging. <laughs> well, we're so used to seeing Allison through flashbacks or through other people's eyes. Do yeah, we get to spend right. some time with her? The totally viewer. do. Good. You totally do. So yeah, we're kind of in the center of her, and she's vulnerable and she's shaken up, but at the same time, we're not certain. Even when I do it, it's good or bad. It's good or bad. It's kind of toying with it. Okay. And this is PLL, and there's cute guys all around. Does she have her eye on anybody? You know, right now, I think she's confused. <laughs> I'm going to put it that way. I think she's okay. confused. All right. Um, I think Marlene was telling me that Hannah especially is really affected by Allison being back. Yeah. Can, you talk, can I talk about the relationship a little bit? Yeah, I mean, Hannah, I think, was always in Allison's shadow. When she was, when she was alive, Allison was always picking on her and, and basically making fun of her way and trying to, trying to push her. But I think, and I think the fact that Hannah has changed so much, and Allison's actually proud of that. She's actually, yeah. she's actually touched by, okay, she's she's coming to her own, and it's a good thing. I think mean, Allison thinks it's a good thing. I think what Hannah ends up seeing is that when Allison disappeared, she built herself up to be the person that she thought she was. But I think she was still trying to copy Allison. So Hannah kind of goes through an identity crisis. Okay. Um, okay. And you see her break down and her fall, and we're not sure how she's going to pick herself up yet. Okay, okay, last question. Um, I love the flashbacks with Emily. I'm curious. Yeah. Emily's also changed. Emerson. But yeah. Emily's also changed a lot. I mean, she's fully out now, and she's yeah. come a long way. Yeah. What's their relationship like? We'll you'll see. I can't say too much about okay. it, but Emerson might be alive. Oh, okay. That's that's all I need to hear. Hey, right. Jenna's coming back for the hundred episode. She is definitely coming back, and she's out to you know create some havoc. Let's put it that way. That doesn't sound like Jenna. I'm mean, like, who's that? <laughs> For sure, so it's really, really super exciting. That's awesome. Can you, I, I know this is a very top secret kind of show. Can you talk about who you're interacting with? Is it all of everybody or? Actually, I mean, people? I've had a lot of my scenes with Lucy Hill, so Arya's character, and Spencer, who's a Trojan. So, can't tell you everything. Okay. Something's happening with that kind okay. of uh, relationship. If you were in the writer's room, would you want to see Jenna kind of redeemed? Because she's kind of been, you know, she's no. villainous, but do you like her that no. way? No, I mean, like, I feel like I'm such a nice, sweet girl. Yeah. But I kind of don't want. Um, I want her to be a bad girl. I want her to stay a bad girl. But I want the audience to like me so that I can be a really bad girl. And the glasses are gone. Sort of. What does that mean, sort of? No. You have to clarify that. No. Sort of? Sort of. <laughs> I can't really, I can't really tell you exactly. Oh, thank you. Okay, well tell me, I've always been curious since the show started. Yeah. How challenging is it to act with those glasses? Because a lot of ways, you're not, you're, to me, I've yeah. learned so much about I know, right? you know, visually impaired, visually impaired people, and I've uh, I studied like how to with Braille, and I studied some people, and I feel um, they've given me so much insight into the character. So I'm, I'm very lucky that I got to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just happy you lived through the episodes where your character has. I'm back, baby. That's awesome. <laughs> Are you sticking around beyond the 100th episode? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, okay. I don't know. I like it. Yeah. All right.